My dream is always to become a diesel mechanic ever since I was young. Going into cosmetology has definitely been a lifelong dream of mine. I wanted a different career. I want to travel the world, see different things, and actually get paid for doing it. I wanted to become a power line worker because I saw the opportunity to grow doing a job that's not common for a woman. The basis for becoming a police officer for me was just to be able to help people. My main reason for joining the cosmetology program is that my grandmother did it for her entire life. And I guess growing up with that around me, I just kind of found a passion for it. Well, when I got out of the Army, I, you know, I missed feeling like I was helping people. And so I decided to go be a nurse to, you know, to, to feel like I was helping people that need. I think when anyone enters a field where they're the minority, they're worried about standing up to the test and the standards that are going to be present by their co-workers. I felt that it was going to be majority of men. It was going to be more challenging for me because I was a female. But once I got here, no, it wasn't. Because a lot of stuff that they can't do, I can. <laughs> you don't really have other people that you can relate to. It's a male-dominated field, so there's not many other women out there that I can look up to. I was the only male, but you know all the other people in the class were very supportive and went out of their way to make me feel comfortable and not feel like I was out of place. The people that they had in the class, they always included me and stuff. I was always treated the same. I'm not as represented, but I still get the same level of respect as any female in the field. The biggest thing I've learned about myself is how incredibly strong I am. I've also had uh, other women reach out to me and ask about line work and how to get started, and that makes all the hard days worth it. Everything I learned in the class, it prepared me to become a truck driver. My teacher is, he's amazing with helping me stuff that I really understand. When he teaches me, I sit there and watch, and I do it, and everything's good. The instructors here at SVCC are great. They always help us with any problem that we may have. They really care about me as a person, and not just as a student, and, you know, they want to see me succeed. My instructor here at Southside has been absolutely wonderful. She definitely taught me to be a lot more confident with what I do. I keep doing things over and over. I'm getting better and better. I came in here. Um, not knowing anything about it. I really didn't even know how to use a wrench. Everybody was open arms. I learned a lot, I climbed a lot, and I still use stuff that I learned here every single day. Other ladies that are considering taking welding, electrical, HVAC, I'd say do it, don't be afraid. The reason I wanted to do this was because I want to be one of the women that's breaking the mold for this career that other women can do it as well. Being a woman in this field is extremely important to me. I love that I'm different. To have RM behind my name would, would make me very proud of myself and you know prove to myself that I didn't give up on something I pushed through and you know achieved a goal. Completing the program at Southside will 100% help me complete my dream and I will have that fulfillment. Actually tomorrow I'm going to take my test and I'm going to pass and I'm going to become a truck driver, a female truck driver. For me it was really important to be a female in the criminal justice field to serve as that role model. Not a lot of that was seen when I was a kid. Now I've been very confident in myself and I can defy all odds and gender roles and I do that every single day.